He was buried in an unmarked grave in the shadow of Joe Frazier's massive monument in his home city of Philadelphia. We start at a sad ending as a reminder and a cautionary tale. What doesn't kill a fighter doesn't make them stronger. Every punch absorbed takes away a little something they never get back. Nobody leaves the ring the same as they went in. Stepping through the ropes is an act of bravery. Sharing the ring with this man was the act of a lunatic. There's no mix of words that can possibly do justice to the havoc his fights inevitably devolved into or the cruel tragedy of his life. Here's a man abandoned at four years of age, leader of a tough gang in the streets of Philadelphia. He has made a comeback in life. Nobody takes a punch like Matthew. He takes a hell of a punch. He works with heavyweights, hurt them and they don't hurt him. A miracle is something only the supernatural can explain, something you have to see personally to believe. So were the fights of Philly's greatest forgotten son. At age six, he's found wandering by the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, too young and horrified to even remember his name. He's left at an orphanage in the care of the nuns at St. Matthew's Parish in North Philly. The nuns name him Matthew Franklin after the saint and highway where he was found. The nuns did their best, but the street gangs of the Philly ghetto took their toll on him. He took up boxing to stop getting robbed. He found guidance and solace at the gym, found a comfort in the midst of absolute chaos. It didn't matter how hard you hit him or how many times, Matthew would just smile and come back harder. He has Jack, it's all yours. I'm the greatest! Number one! He fought his way to the top of a crowded Philly scene, made his TV debut against a man much like himself in Marvin Johnson. It took place in a 20-foot ring that went almost entirely unused. The exchange rate was dead even. Every round, Marvin roars out of his southpaw stance, throwing hooks and uppercuts in combination. Matt Franklin, obviously the better boxer of the two, but has that plotting style, but he as much as possible. He seems that as much as Oh, he's coming from Matthew would come straight back and turn the tables on the lefty with a straight right. There's the right hand there that knocked the mouthpiece away from Marvin Johnson. Another good right. The cycle repeated round after round. He wasn't too punched up because he saw him three solid left hooks to Matt Franklin. And, but Matt Franklin wasn't even staggered. Until finally in the 12th, Matthew's sledgehammer right hand finally cracks granite. Matt Franklin has Marvin Johnson in trouble his right. Oh! His right Marvin collapses and Matthew wins his first title in a fight voted one of the top 40 fights of all time. One minute, 12 seconds of the 12th round. Matt Franklin! I'm going to the North American Championship here. I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to keep it on the finish. And then I'm going to go for the World Light Heavyweight Championship. Matthew keeps brute forcing his way through the rankings. Red robe. He meets two-time title challenger Richie Cates. The manager of Cates uh, of uh, Franklin said Cates doesn't have the guts that Franklin has. He says Cates is a heady fighter. Franklin not to grab the back of the head of Cates. Right hand. After a close first round, Saad lands a right hand that drops him in the second. 
The ref calls it a slip. That was not a knock. And the ref, not a knock, not a knockdown. Charlie Cirillo, absolutely right. Cates comes back on fire. Every time he reaches that right, a solid punch to the head. Cates, Cates torping him now. Right in. Look, guys are right. He's got to change the pattern. The move is right. It's not happening. Very good combination there. Finishing the fourth round by dropping Saad so viciously, he was lucky to be saved by the bell. Saved by the bell! Cates thought the ref waved it off and celebrates, only to be told the fight wasn't over. Came out looking to finish. Matthew covers up on the ropes, absorbs a long series of unanswered punches before waving Cates in for more. Soon, it was Cates who needed to be saved by the bell. Both, that's it, both, both the fighters saved. the bell, the round is over. In round six, Matthew comes out and ends it. While Matt was busy cleaning house, Marvin Johnson had won the vacant WBC title. Marvin asked for Matt specifically as his first title defense. Considering their first epic, there was a palpable buzz in the air for the rematch. In front of Marvin's hometown crowd, the pair somehow rose to even those lofty expectations. This is what champions looks like. Hard, right to the body, hard, right to the face. Whereas Franklin showing remarkable abilities to come back. And Franklin just tagged Johnson with a hard right hand, and the champion seemed to wobble from the hard right. Lost some of the sharpness, lost his ability to move around. There was a little bit of a slip in that. In the eighth round, Marvin Johnson, dangerous to his last moment, folds up like a pocket knife. Though the hometown champion lost, it's impossible to say the fans were disappointed. Matthew found his god in calm after the storm in his corner. Reborn as champion, he changes his name to Matthew Saad Mohammed but a Philly fighter by any other name is just as tough. Matthew, now Saad Muhammad, also takes the toughest first defense. John Conte was a slick boxer with a beautiful defense. He was a bad stylistic matchup for our hittable hero, as the first fight proved. Conte took Matthew to a rare decision. A rematch was offered to Conte. The second time around, Saad left no doubt with his right hand. Good right by Saad Muhammad. Harry Gibbs. Oh, right there, you saw him do it so quickly. Conte kept getting up. Saad would immediately put him back down. 
it too. Remember, there's no three knockdown rule. Both of them have missed the fourth, and that time the left did it. Absolutely bombed him out in four rounds. Byron, but that's knockout number four, and this will end it. Saw it bomb it to stay there, and the official allows it to resume. Conti appears almost defenseless. We see the time remaining in the fourth round. Conti is ready to go down again. Oh, that's it. It's time to halt it. That's the fifth knockdown. Team Council Light Heavyweight Champion, Matthew Saad Mohammed. For his next defense, Saad took a stay busy fight against lanky lefty Louis Pergaud. Saad showed up with a game plan of going to the body. Combo after combo of punches rattle off his ribs. Mama tried to get a body punch. Double and a half minute on the first round. Both those punches, but there was a left hook to the body that was finished. By the way, uh, yeah. the stop. It quickly took its toll on the taller man. Right nostril, blood flowing from the right nostril of the champion between rounds. Two judges are Dick Young of Los Angeles and Alex. It wouldn't be a Saad Muhammad fight without a moment of drama. Ultimately, Saad stopped him with a devastating left hook in five. You're from West Africa, and Matthew, uh, you've done a few of your fights, and you looked especially tough to the body today. Well, I want to say that I only trained at least two weeks for this fight. And uh, I'm just ready to unite the title. I'm looking for Mr. Eddie Gregory. Listen to me, boy, because I'm after you. I'm the man. I'm the champion. I'm, I am the undisputed light heavyweight champion. I, I have to believe you, Matthew. I've known you a long time. I keep telling the people. Then he took on a much taller man in Yaqui Lopez. The six foot two inch Mexican matador was gored by a bull that forced him out of bullfighting. But Yaqui was the type of guy who was going to fight something so he took up boxing instead. It was another majestic bloodbath that had become the pattern of all Matthew's fights. Round eight, each man took his turn on the ropes as the other blasted away with dozens of punches. Only Matthew was smiling about it. I know he's tired, but that's what he's going to have to do if he wants to keep going away and win this championship. It took 14 rounds and four knockdowns to stop the tenacious Mexican. I don't know what Lopez is thinking about. Right hand down goes Lopez. Muhammad. Tim, you know, seeing Lopez fall like that, that's better. Down he goes again. Down again. again. Champion, but appear to have retained his title. Lopez is done. There is no three knockdowns. It's like five minutes rest. Good right that's hand. It. That's it. That's it. That's it. The referee it. has said it is all over. Saad Muhammad with a 14th round as the former Matt Franklin, now Matthew Saad Muhammad, a 3 of the 14th. It was 1980's fight of the year. Matthew was gifted with an easier night against Latte Mowali. Ten ounce gloves. The early going was cautious until Matthew started getting to Mowali's body. Matthew sees him start to double over with the body shots and sees his punches. Saad uppercuts Mawali's jaw to the moon in the fourth. Oh, that, that's it. A one, two, a right, followed by a left hook. The mouthpiece went out. That's it. 
done in the ring. Anyway, that was a champion performance by you, Matthew, I must say. Well done once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. The last great night of Matthew Saad Muhammad came against Jerry Martin. Jerry brought the fight to Matthew, gave it every ounce of effort and energy he had, landed brutal shots while Matthew shelled up on the ropes. Jerry got suckered into punching himself out. Matthew came from behind to stop the upstart. His birth name was Maxwell Antonio Loach. His mother died in childbirth. He was sent with his brother to live with an aunt. She couldn't afford to feed them both. When the police found Matthew wandering alone by the road, it was because his own brother let him out there, then ran away without a word. The money Matthew earned fighting went to whoever he felt needed it more. Growing up an orphan, Matthew knew a lot of people who needed it more. He spent his retirement years advocating for the homeless, the heart big enough to win the wildest of wars also tried to support far too many. The generous man gave it all away. He died a homeless with a neurological disease. Matthew Saad Muhammad made peace with his God. It's just a shame such a great had to die to see heaven.